Hey guys, before we go ahead and move into this tutorial, I want to go ahead and make a quick note that uh, this tutorial will be an add-on for the tank. So this means that the tank is not included in this tutorial. This is simply uh, showing you guys a simple add-on you can do to any one of my Sherman tutorials I do have on my channel to turn it into the Sherman DD or the Sherman Duplex Drive, which basically makes it a amphibious uh, M4 variant with basically snorkels uh, in, over the engine bay. Um, so again, this will work for any one of my Sherman tutorials. All you have to do is uh, find those Sherman you like, and you can add this to it. The version we have in front of us is being is using the M4A3 tutorial, so feel free to check out that tutorial so that you guys uh, can build the M4A3, or you, again, you can use any um, one of my Shermans. But just note again that this is just an add-on, and the tank is not going to be built in this tutorial. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Gertie Wolfway here bringing you another Minecraft World War II vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing an add-on for the Sherman tank, uh, making this the Sherman DD or Sherman Duplex Drive. Basically this add-on is very simple and was seen with many of the amphibious landing tanks. Uh, what it did was it put the snorkels onto uh, Sherman DDs, which is basically, or basically any Sherman variant, um, but mostly along they used M4A1s, M4A2s, and M4A4s. Um, they basically modified them to have snorkels, which allowed them to cross deeper uh, river rivers or even uh, traverse deeper water terrain. So, as for example, going off beaches and stuff like that uh, on some of the naval beach landings. Um, it's a very simple addition and uh, definitely will make a cool addition to any amphibious scenes where you may have Shermans rolling up a beach or something of that kind of sort. Now this isn't designed to be the floating Sherman in particular, but this is designed to be uh, maybe the Sherman after it removed its floats on D-Day or just a Sherman in maybe a very um, wet or maybe some kind of river crossing scenes. I don't know, but um, it's a fun add-on nonetheless to put on your Sherman's in any kind of naval landing, I think. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a quick look at it. As I mentioned, I am using the M4A3 chassis for this. Again, you can use any one of my Sherman tanks you guys want. It's pretty straightforward. All we're going to be doing here is modifying the engine bay, putting these two snorkels here, um, like this on the back. Again, real straightforward stuff and nothing too crazy. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into uh, our tutorial. To start off with, we have the M4A3, just a plain one right here, all ready for us to go, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into modifying it. Now what we need to do here is we're going to go ahead and come back here to the engine bay. We're going to go ahead and delete these, th or these uh, two rows of three of daylight detectors. We're just going to go ahead and completely get rid of them. Now in its place, we're going to go ahead and take green terracotta, and we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across. We then want to place down a row of three of dark oakwood stairs right after it. We're going to go to the center green terracotta block, we're going to place down one block up, mossy cobbles on the wall here to both sides, and we want to go then place down a row three of dark oakwood stairs with the back of the stairs facing toward the front. When we get to this point, we're going to go and place down ladders coming off the backs of the stairs, and one thing that's cool about this too is we can keep the machine gun mounted on top here, or we can get rid of it, either one will work. Kind of makes sense a little bit with the duplex drive Sherman to get rid of the machine gun, so I'll leave that option up to you guys. You can keep it or get rid of the machine gun either way. If you do decide to keep it, um, you can go and replace this iron trap door with a ladder instead, and you'll have a basically uh, the first uh, kind of snorkel here. Next one basically involves us modifying the back. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and going down to this spot down here. We're going to delete basically the levers, dark oak with trapdoors on the back here as well. And we're going to go ahead and then modify this area. So we're going to go delete these three iron brick stairs across the bottom here. We're going to place down a row of four or row three of green terracotta. Any of my other variants of Shermans that don't have the back rack, you don't have to worry about it. Or uh, if there's a different block structure on the back here. Just go ahead and very simply replace this row here in between the Arabic stairs of green terracotta. You can leave whatever blocks these are right here alone. You don't need to change those. It's just these blocks right here that matter. Now coming off these blocks, we're going to place on a row of three of dark oak with stairs. We're going to then take dark oak signs, wrap them around the fronts and sides here of the stairs. After that, we're going to go ahead and go to the middle stair here. On top of it, we're going to place down a dark oak with stair, a dark oak with corner stair here to both sides. And then going to the middle stair, we go ahead and go up one and two green terracotta blocks, one and two mossy cobblestone walls to both sides, and then the very top here, a row three of dark oak with stairs. 
After that, we're going to take ladders. I'm placing a row three ladders across the back of the stairs like that for the snorkels there on the back. And with that all complete there, that is going to pretty much wrap up all we need to do here for the Sherman DB modification. A very simple add-on, but a, a very good one if you do want to have these Sherman Sherman's in some kind of amphibious type environment. Anyways, that right there is going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys do want to be using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be thank you for the ability to my channel or this video. If this does appear on any social media sites, as long as you guys give me proper credit for it, your fruit is your favorite project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun, fit, and all that fun stuff. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been your 204, and I'll see you guys next time.